guys, it's Amy. Today I'm going to show you how to maximize your performance with your hybrid. The head of the hybrid is actually bigger than a long irons and the length of the hybrid is shorter than a fairway wood. So it's actually an easier club to hit with. But a surprising number of amateurs actually were struggling hitting the hybrid. That's why I prepared a hybrid lesson today. So let's begin. So as the club gets longer, you're supposed to bring this longer and heavier club using more of your lower body. So if you do that, every club is a little different in length. So as club gets longer and longer, the more separation in the lower body and upper body is going to get greater. So when I say separation, that's um, talking about how the lower body and the upper body moves. So let's say you have like a short iron. When, you, when you're swinging a short iron, obviously your lower body and upper body is going to kind of turn through a little bit more together. Whereas if you have a long club, then you're going to have to use more hips. So it's going to be more separation. See the difference? As the club gets longer, just remember you need more separation and your arms need to be more relaxed and follow that movement through. So as club gets longer, a lot of people make the mistake of using your hands to control and bring the club down. But if you use your hands to hit the longer club, it's really hard to get a consistent contact on the ball. So you'll, you'll be producing more miss hits than a nice shot. To hit your hybrids pure, you need to check two things. First point is your ball position. For the hybrid ball position, you want the ball to be in, like a ball or two inside your left heel. So usually for seven irons, I suggest middle of the stance or maybe half a ball left of the middle. And for the driver, I always emphasize inside the left heel. For the hybrid, you really want to keep it either a ball or two inside the left heel because as the club gets longer, the, you're going to have to use more hips to bring that long club down. And because the club is longer, the release point is going to be a little bit later than say like an eight iron. If you keep your ball position in the middle of the stance, then you're most likely going to go into the ball a little bit opened and you're going to feel that it's a missed shot. So if you keep this ball position up, eventually what's going to happen is you're going to start using less and less of the separation. So your body's going to stop moving and then you're going to try and release the club using the hands only and which is going to cause more miss shots. So if you're going to kind of make a mistake on the ball position, I rather you move it more left rather than right because just of, just because that one ball position, it can actually ruin your golf swing. Okay. So if you understand the ball position, number two, I'm going to show you this uh, coin drill. I have a coin here, but uh, I'm afraid if you catch it, it might fly really hard and break something. So I've actually made a coin out of a cardboard like this, and you can use this. Obviously, if you do this on a mat, it's harder because it's going to sit flat on the mat as opposed to the grass. Okay, so let me show you what I want you to do with it. So you're going to set the coin where the ball would be, and you're going to try and brush it. So when you brush, I want you to use the separation to brush it. Watch. See how nice and relaxed my arms were? So if you try and brush using your hands, then you might miss it. Or if you use too much separation and then use the hands, it's not going to work either, right? So you really want to relax your arms and use the separation to brush the coin. In order for you to get like 10 out of 10 correct, you might have to do a lot of these, but the more you do it, the more it's gonna help you because eventually through all these practice swings, brushing, what you're gonna learn is when you use your hands and hit down on it, you're gonna feel that you have pressure in your arms and you use your arms to hit down, as opposed to if you use a separation and brush the ground, you're gonna feel how relaxed your arms are. You'll be able to control your pressure in your grip, and how much your body fires to hit the ball. Today we went over two things for the hybrid. Ball position should be a ball or two inside the left heel. And second point was to 
use the coin drill. You're going to use the separation, use your hips to brush the coin. Try the practice swings and you'll hit some amazing shots with the hybrid. Hope you guys are able to follow along. See you guys in the next lesson.